I always tap his locker just like it was in high school. It hits me every time. Him and Wade laced up next to each other. Their lockers were side by side for years. Skylar mentioned that everything to him feels different. It's, it just feels different. Wade was the only child. He just always had a big heart, e even as a child. Um, he, he never wanted you mad at him, you know. He was just a bundle of joy. I just noticed how much everyone gravitated toward him uh, because he was just so friendly for, to everybody. He made everybody feel like they were special. Once we were able to get on the same AAU team, that's when I first started to hang around him. I just knew that was somebody that I wanted to be like and somebody I wanted to be around as much as possible. All right, Skylar Mays here with small forward slash power forward slash center, Gatorade player of the year, Wade Sims. How you doing, guys? All right, uh, you know, uh, I like to get kind of personal in my interviews, so I want to ask you, uh, how's Leslie doing? Leslie Slaughter, your, your girlfriend. Oh, that's my girlfriend. Oh, that's my girl. You know, we doing pretty good. <laughs> that's it. You guys had, like, a good chemistry. You guys joked around a lot with each other. You guys balanced each other out a little bit. Describe your relationship with him. Yeah, I, I'd like to say it's kind of a yin and yang. I'm more of a, you know, steady guy, and he's just a flamboyant person who does a lot of theatrics that everybody, you know, loves, and uh, he keeps everybody easy going. So I think that was really beneficial for me and helped me be myself, but also open up. Wade took Skylar's brothers and sisters as his siblings, and they accepted Wade, like, as their brother. <laughs> got to a point where I, I coached him and then I had to turn him over to somebody else. And just to see him grow, we were all happy and excited. I think he always knew that he was, I think he was just trying to play me. Um, I secretly prayed that he would stay here and go to LSU. I remember one day um, he just kind of entertained maybe going somewhere off. And I was like, oh God, no, please. I'm excited to be playing basketball at LSU next year. It was exciting to me, being a dad and a former player. It's always an honor to see your kid go in your footsteps. Did Wade's commitment here affect yours? Absolutely, absolutely. I love playing with Wade. We knew each other's game in and out. You know, we played with each other for 10, 12 plus years. So I wanted to keep it going. How did the bond between you guys evolve once you got to college, once you got to LSU? Um. Definitely grew stronger. I think we, the more we were around each other, our just relationships just grew every day. But when Coach would get on us pretty bad, he was the one who would kind of ease everything up. I think he was a glue guy in the way he played because he played to make other guys better. He played to win, and you know anybody likes to play with somebody like that. So it was so effortless for him to help this team win games. Members of the LSU basketball team are grieving tonight. Cell phone video shows the moments before Wade Sims was shot. I got the phone call in the middle of the night, and I just remember us racing to the hospital. And, um, and then it, I, I don't know, I really don't remember like a whole lot. I, I actually don't remember all of the month of October or November. Uh, I was sleeping, uh, it was pretty early. Um, uh, obviously that woke me up and uh, I mean that day was for the most part a blur. I was just praying to God that he would be all right. You know, that I know he was shot, you know, just I would hope that, you know, he would survive. We got there or whatever, but you know, unfortunately it wasn't. And we begin with the tragedy hitting the Baton Rouge sports world. LSU basketball star Wade Sims shot and killed overnight. I just paused for a minute and just kind of sat back like I was in shock and disbelief. Um, and I just couldn't stop crying. 
I didn't know what to do. I called my parents because I'm, my parents are obviously close with Wade, like his are with my, with me, and um, and just cried. I feel like everyone who knew Wade, uh, I mean, I'm, uh, everyone who knew Wade uh, knew that he just smiled all the time. Just a loving person, and his smile was contagious. For me, it kind of feels like he's just on a, a really long vacation and he forgot his phone here. Like, it's just, it's just really hard for me. Um, it's hard for all of us. My heart breaks for Skylar. I mean, it just, it, it just breaks for Skylar. Um, he checks on me, and I'll, I'll check on him, and we we'll just try to, you know, keep in touch. But, you know, I, I feel like I'm dying in the inside. But, I, you know, I just, my heart just aches for him as well. It's your worst nightmare. So I always say that the worst thing that could have ever happened to me has happened. Wade was my entire life. How do you feel his presence as a team? Uh, yeah, some, and sometimes when some shots go in in the game, I'm like, yeah, that was Wade. I don't feel that I could ever feel the void. I just don't foresee that happening. Um, I, I know that I'll be empty, I, I, I say, for the rest of my life. My heart has a hole, and I tell him it bleeds every day. I don't ever see that being repaired. I know by the grace of God, he could change, you know, situations, but um, I just, right now, I can't see that. What's up, you guys? It's Taylor Brooks with Bleacher Report. Make sure that you subscribe for some more video content.